What's up guys, before I start the video today, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm starting a new thing on my channel today called Top 5, and this is my very first video of it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So today's Top 5 episode is going to be my Top 5 favorite comic book movies of all time. Now the great thing about film is, it is subjective. You know, I might like something more than the other person. You might like something more than that person. You know, everyone has different opinions. That's the great thing about film. No one really has the same exact order of something. So, comic book movies have been going around since like 1920, and it's almost been a hundred years. Some have been good, and some have been bad. And you know, everyone's had their different opinions on them. But without further ado, let's get into my top five. Starting out before my top five, I'm going to have some honorable mentions, and my first honorable mention will be Spider-Man 2. So Spider-Man 2, it came after Spider-Man 1, and it was a humongous success. We had Alfred Molina playing the villain Doc Ock, and we had Tobey Maguire back, you know, we had James Franco, we had Kirsten Dunst, you know, it was a great cast. And this movie, it felt more like, you know, a drama in a way. It didn't really feel like a comic book film where we had the origin story and stuff, but this was a great film and it was a great addition to the Spidey universe. My second honorable mention will be Captain America Civil War. It did do a great job overall with producing all the different characters and mashing them up together. You know, we had Team Cap versus Team Iron Man and it, they were all mostly well balanced, so that was a big success and it was one of my favorites of all time. My third honorable mention will be Iron Man 1. And this was directed by John Favreau, which is also playing Happy Hogan in the films. And it was the first ever MCU movie back in 2008. It was a big success, you know. Iron Man was the first MCU character. It started the end credit scenes for the MCU. And it really did a good job at bringing Tony Stark to reality and bringing Iron Man to reality. And it was a great movie. And my last honorable mention, before I get into my top five is X-Men Days of Future Past. This was a phenomenal movie. We had people like Young Magneto, Old Magneto, Old Professor X, Young Professor X, and we had Logan. Oh my God, this man, he's been living throughout so much of these great movies. Hugh Jackman is one of my favorite actors in Hollywood, and this was a great film that I highly recommend. It was so close by being in my top five, but I got left out. So number five on my top five comic book movies of all time is Superman from 1978, directed by Richard Donner and composed by John Williams, which, oh my God, it's probably the best song ever in a comic book film. And every time I hear it, it just gives me chills, like, dun da 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 <laughs> You know, this is the really first movie that I think set comic book movies over the top. We had Christopher Reeve playing an iconic Superman in a great Clark Kent. And I think this was the film that really started off the whole superhero genre. Of course, we had like the Adam West Batman, the George Reeves Superman, we had some other stuff, but this was kind of like the first big market movie. And I thought Christopher Reeve did an excellent job with a great supporting cast. He really did make people believe a man can fly. And Christopher Reeve, is so good. I mean, if you guys haven't watched it, definitely check that out. Now my fourth movie on my list is going to be Logan, directed by James Mangold. And I thought about putting this on my list for a while now. I wasn't sure if it deserved it. I wasn't sure if I was just living in the moment with the years. But I thought about it a lot and I'm like, this deserves to be in the top five. You know, this movie brought, you know, Logan some emotions he's never ever felt. and introduced his daughter in X-23. We had another great performance by Patrick Stewart as Professor X. And I thought this movie was outstanding. I mean, I watched it three times now since it came out. I got like tears every single time I watched it. And it was just so good. It felt like Terminator 2-esque. And that's not a bad thing at all. Terminator 2 is one of the best movies of all time. And there are select a few of people that, you know, are like the person in real life and that are like born to play that role. And some of those people are like Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool, Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man, and Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. This man was born to play Wolverine, needed a great job at it. My third favorite comic book film of all time is The Avengers, directed by Joss Whedon. 
and this movie was really really good especially how there was never really a big like branch of superheroes coming together working together and this movie did a great job at it because it balanced out everyone together whether it was Thor, Cap, uh, Hulk, Iron Man, even Black Widow and Hawkeye had some really great scenes in this too. They all had great chemistry with each other and it had a great villain out of Loki. <sighs> number two, we're almost there. So my number two favorite comic book movie of all time is Batman the Dark Knight. And Christopher Nolan, every single movie he does is like pretty much awesome. <laughs> But in this movie, we had Heath Ledger playing the iconic Joker, maybe the best villain in cinema history. He did a great job. And it's like he overshadows Christian Bale. I mean, Christian Bale's a star, but Heath Ledger, I mean, he kills it, man. He really does a great job. And in fact, Heath Ledger even won an Oscar for this film. And guys, check that out. It's on YouTube, you know, the Oscars. Very emotional, but very good. And here we are, my number one favorite comic book movie of all time. And that is Spider-Man 1, directed by Sam Raimi. Now, I might be a little biased with this because, you know, I grew up with Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3. And, you know, Tobey Maguire, I think he's the best Spider-Man of all time. It's going to be hard for him to be taught by, like, even people like Tom Holland. Tom Holland was great in Homecoming. But I don't think he's as good as Tobey Maguire. I think Tobey Maguire was just excellent. And there's people that are like, oh, well, he was too old to play Peter Parker. But I mean, you know, he was great. I mean, I love Toby. <laughs> Not only that, we had, I call it the big trio with Tommy McGuire, Kirsten Dunst, and James Franco. And the franchise with all three movies really revolves around them three. And, you know, Peter's love connection with Kirsten Dunst and James Franco. I mean, this is kind of like the last serious actual role James Franco has. I mean, there's probably been some other movies, but it kind of feels like that. And we also had people like Willem Dafoe and J.K. Simmons, which were outstanding. J.K. Simmons was born to play J. Jonah Jameson. He was excellent. <laughs> and there's been some iconic scenes with Peter first climbing the wall, Flash Thompson scene at lunch. We had Peter versus Goblin at the end of the movie. We had Ben Parker's death. Oh my God, a bunch of great scenes. And this movie really leaves a special place in my heart. It will always leave a special place in my heart. And it is my favorite comic book film of all time. Now guys, what did you think about my list? What are your top five comic book films of all time? Post comments down below. And if you guys enjoyed my video, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So that way you can see me next time. Thanks for watching.